Hello everybody, Carolyn here. Today I am filming a updated photo card collection video. I try to do these about every six months and about a week ago I realized that it's been about six months since my last one. So my last one was in January of 2021 and now it is July somehow. Not really sure how that happened. Originally I wanted to wait until after I finished collecting Monst X's newest album but they just keep releasing more and more things for it and yeah so you'll see this stack of cards next time. <laughs> I still have a lot of Monst X albums coming. I'm gonna be moving in early August and so I really wanted to film this before I moved as well just so, yes, just so that it will be filmed and ready to upload for you guys. I do want to do one more shelf tour as well before I start taking all of that down, so look forward to that video coming soon. But today is all about the photo cards. Originally, I was going to film an, an update my binder with me sorting photo card video clip before this video, but I don't really have that many things to put away, so I figured we could just put things away in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have a total of nine binders now. It's a little insane, I know, <laughs> but um, I do double sleeve my cards and it makes the binders thicker a little faster. So nine binders. Somehow I have to move that to my new place. Um, if you watch my update, my update my binder with me videos, you know that I do things in a certain order. So like the last time I filmed a full collection video, I am going to go in reverse order. Um, so we'll start with binders I usually end with. Timestamps linked down below so you can navigate the video as you want. If you don't want to see the full collection, you don't have to watch the full collection. I have had a request, a couple requests recently for me to kind of explain where cards are from a little more. So this video might be a little longer than the last time I filmed this. So thus you can navigate the video as you want. We are going to start today with my second boy group binder. This is what I call my second boy group binder. It houses only two groups currently, NCT and um, Super M, same thing, and um, SF9. So those are the only two groups in here currently. I do have a couple of cards to put away here. Now we can go ahead and get started. So I do have a few cards to put away and we'll just kind of do that as we come across it. So the first member of NCT that I collect is Lucas. Um, he is my overall bias in NCT. I collect him for Super M as well as NCT. Part of the reason I keep Super M in this binder as well is because of Lucas. But yes, so we have his resonance cards, his first mini. Um, this is from, is this from? Yes, also from the first mini takeoff. And then Super M's first mini. And then these are tour cards, more tour cards. Um, this is all Super M. And then second mini, second mini Chinese version or yes, Chinese version. And then these are more Super M tour cards. These are from Awaken the World. This is from the SM tour thing, Beyond Live is what it's called. Um, and then we have Super M's second release here. And this is the Korean version. And then we have Resonance, the Kino cards, um, Resonance part two, Wavy, Season's Greetings. And this is where we are currently. So Kickback is the last card that I have. So I do have the other kickback card. I also do already have both of his Kino cards. Um, they are just in a buy package that did not arrive in time for this video, but that's okay. Um, I also collect Jano for Dream. So this is all of his Korean cards. I don't collect anything. Um, I'll go ahead and just pause if you want to see the back because SM is very good about writing what album each card belongs with. Um, this goes all the way to their most recent release, so I will add some things for Hot Sauce. So I do have three cards to add here for Hot Sauce. So these are all from the Hot Sauce version, obviously they're not from the repackage, but we've got this card which I'm going to put here. This is one of the photo book version cards. And then I do the third card and then also the cafe card i don't have yet but i do have both of the jewel case cards so we'll start that here i don't collect kinos for jano um, i think i said that already but i don't collect kinos for anyone except lucas yes and then we'll put the repack cards here i did not pull any in my copies of the album so unfortunately we can't add it to that today 
but the hot sauce cards are so cute on the back oh my gosh and then these are the circle cards sm used to do so those are for lucas and jano jano isn't necessarily my second bias my second bias is actually johnny um but johnny and the fourth member i collect is jungwoo so i decided to keep all of 127 cards together so here we have johnny's cards i've heard recently that his um his japanese or his Kino cards don't go for very much, but I, that was a while ago somebody told me that, so I don't know if the Kino prices have changed for Johnny. But we go all the way down until Season's Greetings for this year. And then for Jungwoo, I have tried to buy We Are Superhuman multiple times. <laughs> I also don't collect Kinos for Jungwoo, um, but these are all of his album cards since he joined the group. I started collecting Jungwoo after his hiatus, um, I just missed him a lot, so thought it would be fun to collect him, and I've had a good time collecting him so far, so. And then we have the circle cards for Johnny and Jungwoo. Obviously, they're always in the same releases because they are in the same unit, so that's why I put them together. Then we have Resonance Part 1. I did collect um, five members for this release, so here we have Lucas and Genome. And then Johnny and Jungwoo. And then for Resonance Part 2, I collected five members again. We'll get to the fifth member in a second. Um, but we have Lucas and Jano here. And then Johnny and Jungwoo. Um, and then for Kino cards, I only collected Lucas's Kino cards from this release. And then I also collected Sungchan. It was his first um, release and I have really, really grown to love him. So I decided to collect him. I probably will collect him in whatever unit he's in in the future as well. Here we have the postcard section of my binder. So these are Johnny's postcards. I have um, Tano's Wee Boom card, the Superhuman US postcard, um, Johnny and Jungwoo from Punch. Um, and then these are from Resonance. And then these are from Wee Boom. And then this is my like little Lucas section, which we do need to add to today. I do have both of the postcards from Kickback as well. So I don't think I want to put them there actually. I might put them on the back of these. I don't know what I'm going to put in the upper pocket yet, but I think I will put these here like this. Because those are wavy postcards on their side as well. And then this is from Super M's second mini. I bought a lot of copies of this album, so I decided to collect the American full set. So that's what this is. Super cute, super cute. And then that's the unit album I bought, so that's why I have that unit card. And then these are the, oh my gosh, what are these called? I pre-ordered them so long ago. I'm gonna see if I can remember and write it here because I cannot remember. Um, and then these are the rest of the tour cards. I did go see Super M on tour, so I got the full photo card set at the concert. So I just decided to keep them. Um, and they are very cute. Same with the, the second set they released. I didn't get those on tour because I was in the first half of the tour, um, but I ended up buying those cards later. And then I also collected OT7 for postcards. So here are all the members' postcards. And then that's it for Super M and NCT. You can see why I only have one other group in this binder. And it is SF9. So I collect Taeyang from SF9. I have all of his cards out here. Oh my gosh. I These are all Taeyang's Korean cards. I'm missing Knights of the Sun B. I'll go ahead and leave that there for a second if you want to pause and see what album those cards are from. Yes. And then here's the second cards. I don't collect the ID cards. Mostly just collect the the selfie cards from many of the albums, though I did decide recently to collect some more concept cards. But any ID cards, I don't like ID, ID cards, so I decided not to collect those. I'll go ahead and leave that there for a second if you want to see what albums those are from. And then... Here we have up until their most recent release. They are making a comeback in like two days as of the time of me filming this video. I have not purchased anything for it yet. Um, like I said, I'm moving and I'm trying to like limit the amount of things that I'm buying for the next month. So um, I probably will end up getting the cards eventually, but yeah, not right now. And then these are all larger items for Taeyang. And... Yeah, that is it for this binder. I used to have more groups in this binder, but I've decided to not collect them anymore or I moved them to a different binder. So 
yeah that is the second boy groups binder next i think we'll do my girl groups binder all of these binders by the way are three ring three inches so yes this binder is getting a little full i'm not really sure what to do about it yet but that sounds like a later carolyn problem so yeah so the first group in here is a pink yes i do collect a pink they are my ultimate girl group and i do collect a palmy kind of a pink cards are hard to come by these days and so um back when i decided i wanted to fully collect all balmy's cards it was like probably about two years ago now and it's just been hard to find her cards especially the earlier albums so yes i'll go ahead and leave that i feel like for the like the album release cards the members that I, or the people i only collect like album releases from it's pretty straightforward but if we get into a group where i collect things outside of album cards i'll be sure to specify where they're from um kind of like i did with lucas so these are all japanese cards it's not a full japanese collection but it's full for what i decided to purchase this is from the pink love photo card set these are other member cards so from unji's solo albums this is a japanese card and then from namju's solo album and then this is from their light stick their version 2 light stick it came with a photo card set and then these were pre-order cards for um, percent. So there were two sets of them. This was from their season's greetings for 2019. 2019, I think it was. Um, and then these are the My Music Taste cards from the Look album. I collected the full set for this. And then these cards are from their Pink of the Year photo book. Um, so yes, there's two sets of cards that came with that as well. And then I'm still missing the final postcard for this. I did buy it and it just like got lost in the mail during COVID, very sad. Um, and then I have the postcards from their season greetings. These are from like Namju and Inji's releases. Um, and then these are from Look. I didn't collect the full set, but those are the four that I pulled in my four copies of the album. And then I have Balmy's Percent circle cards next we have wendy of red velvet i have a complete collection i don't collect kinos for her because red velvet kinos are like stupid expensive maybe for red velvet's comeback i'll um splurge and get a kino because it's been so long but yes i do collect wendy fully um for the silverine unit oh these are from season's greetings by the way for the silverine unit i collected one irene card and one silgi card um, and then for Wendy's solo album, I'm working on collecting her full set. Haven't done it yet. It's kind of been a lower priority because my old group made a comeback. So <laughs> I am working on it though. Um, but these were all things that I bought in my copies or I got in my copies of the album. And then, yes, I didn't buy Joy's solo. Um, I do kind of want to get a copy of it. Um, it's just, like I said, been a lower priority right now. Um, but yes, and then these are just larger things from the album. Um, the albums they release, these are Seasons Greetings. And then we collect, I collect Luna. So Luna, I collect Chetty. I've been collecting her since her release. Well, actually, I think it was since Eve's release. I like went back and I like listened to the other members and I was like, oh, but yeah. So we have a full set. This is her little card from her solo album. And then this is fan made. This is my music taste. Or no, maybe this is my music taste. That's my music taste. And then these are from a photo card set. I can't remember what they're called. The Premiere Greetings. But Luna have so many like random photo cards that I just can't keep up. But I did see this set of cards and it was super cute. So I was like, I have to get it. Um, and then these are from Luna's most recent release. Well, they just made a comeback this week. So <laughs> besides that, actually, I think we're just going to continue this on that page. But these are for the rest of the cards. So... So in my copies of Luna's most recent album, and I pulled one Chetty card, um, the rest of them are gonna be up for trade for Chetty's other cards. I pulled a good selection of cards though. I'm very happy with my pulls. 
but this is from version C, so it actually does go on this page. I'm just gonna put this one in here. I will reorganize these as I get more of the cards, but just for the sake of this video, that is where she will go. So working on the new collection, I don't have any pre-order benefits or anything purchased for this. I'm not sure what I'll get, but I kind of want to get like her with drama card and then I'm gonna kind of look around and see what her other cards look like. But yes, I would like to get something. And then next I have Chirong of Itzy. I collect her. And so these are all of her album cards from It's Icy and It's Me. And then this is a freebie card. It's not official. Um, and then I have all these unit cards from Not Shy and It's Me. And then these are all cards from Not Shy. A uh, bunch of pre-order benefits. These are both, these are all sub K pre-order benefits. Um, I believe these are both my music taste and I think this one is with drama. And then this is for their newest album. Um, I'm kind of making slow progress on this album, but it's okay. Two more cards. I do have the hidden card already because that's literally what this is. Uh, and then I haven't ordered the special edition yet, but there are two cards for Chenong in that. I mean, I can't order it now, it's sold out, but I'm gonna go look for her cards on Makari. So, yeah. And then we have some postcards. And next we have Twice. So I collect Jihyo for Twice. These are her older album cards. I just started collecting her fully again last era. So, um... I'm a little behind. I did used to collect her like a long time ago and then I sold my Jiho collection and I decided to pick her back up in 2020 and I've had a great time so far. Um, I just need to kind of expand on the older card collection but I'll do that once I finish the current era. Um, but for the most part I do have a lot of her um, cards done. I know a lot of Twice collectors will do like OT9 sets um, and I really wanted to kind of finish all of Jihyo's cards first before I went and started collecting for other members. Um, so I might do OT9 sets in the future. I haven't really decided yet, but for right now, yes. I also need to finish Year of Yes. I have not finished that yet. Kind of a hard album to collect. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I think I got a couple more cards for that recently. And then I have Fancy. And then Feel Special. And then well, Eyes Wide Open. I did collect an OT9 set for this, so I was completely in love with this concept. So I decided to collect this version of this concept because Geo's card for the Selby version is this. So, so it didn't make sense to do that. But yes, I'm obsessed with this set. It's so pretty. And then this is for the new album. I do have a couple of cards to put in here. So I decided to collect my top three for this album because I can. And because if you buy one copy of the album, you have enough cards to trade for one member. And I was like, well, I want all three versions of the album, which didn't end up happening. <laughs> um, there's a vlog on it, um, but I did pull four cards. So I have one Jihyo card and then two Daihan cards and one Sana card. So I'm just gonna kind of, I think, are these from the same set? I don't know yet. I have to figure out what the sets are. So I'm just gonna, for right now, yeah, I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna reorganize this later. I haven't even posted all of my trades yet, so behind, I know. But I was also traveling like when this album came out. And then I have one Sana card, which I think I don't think it's the same concept as this. I think it's different. So I'm gonna put it over here. But yes, hopefully I can fill up this page soon. I also do have Sana's lenticular. I had good luck with good luck with larger items for Sana, and I think this is not gonna fit with a sleeve. Let's see. I'm gonna try it. It fits perfectly. You can't double sleeve it, but it fits perfectly. And that's okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Yay. Okay. I'm so happy the lenticulars fit in nine pockets. Yeah, it fits perfectly. That's amazing. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to work on this. Oh, that makes me so happy. And then this was for any larger items I pulled, which I did pull some. So I have Sana's tasting card. And then I also pulled her circle card. 
and I also pulled Dian Circle card. Didn't pull any Jihyo larger items, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. No, because I'm not going to want to do... Okay, so I'm going to do Jihyo up there, and then I'll do Sana, and Dahyun, and then I will put, like, white papers behind it to make it look better. And then I'm going to put the tasting cards in three pockets. I will put Sana here, and then when I get Dahyun and... Jihyo, I will put them there. So, yeah, and then for the bookmarks, I did not pull any of my biases for the bookmarks, so I will put those in once um, I trade for them. But yes, moving on, um, I have, these are like Jihyo special cards. This, I believe, is a with drama. This is, oh my gosh, these are all pre-order, these are pre-order cards. This is a pre-order card. I cannot remember where these other ones. These are from like photo card sets. But I'm very bad at this. This is from a, a this is a Jewy card that somebody gifted me, and I um, may or may not want to collect this set eventually, so I decided to keep it. Um, and then we've got JYP pre-ordered, more JYP pre-order stuff, um, and then Jiho's larger card from um, Eyes Wide Open. And then a couple of other pre-order cards. And then in the back here, we have my little um, winter slash um, rosé section. So this is from Rosé's album. These are the key time for you cards. And then these are the two cards I pulled to my album. I might just try to get one more to fill up this page. And then winter Espa don't have like a physical release yet. So when they do, I'll move um, winter to our own page. But that's just like a cash B card. And then we have my little Stacy collection. So this is from their first mini album. I believe this is a Make Star card. It is. It's a Make Star. These are Randy's um, Randy's freebie cards. <laughs> and then this is also Make Star. Yes, it is. Um, and this is from their second mini. And then I um, have Shion and Aisha's um, postcards. Aisha is my second bias, so that's why I kept her. And that's it for this binder. Super full. I think maybe not the last time I updated this, but like the time before that, this binder was not this full. <laughs> I, I feel like I've picked up quite a few girl groups, which is fun. I like that. I like collecting girl groups a lot. So next we're going to do William. This is a binder dedicated to William Entertainment minus Envy of Eyes One. Um, or whatever Willem does with her in the future. She's in her own binder that we'll go through later. But yes, this is my Willem collection besides that. If you don't know, I am a Willem stan, which is unfortunate for me. <laughs> um, because their photo card situation is kind of intense. This is a ticket from when I saw Infinite in concert, which is one of the best days of my life. Um, this is the full photo card set for paradise it was the first time infinite had photo cards i know it's hard to believe that there was a time that photo cards didn't exist in k-pop albums but there was and um yes so this is their first set so i decided to collect it because they are one of my ultimate groups i love them so much um this is from a photo card set it's from second invasion um these are all of Yun's cards um from korean and japanese releases i keep those together so yes the newest edition is this in spirit card which is so hard to find so hard to find well actually so paradise wasn't the first one then in spirit was the first one but it was like a first press special item you got was a photo card so in spirit cards are hard to come by and then this goes all the way until their most recent release um and then everyone went to the military and then everyone left Willem, and now i'm sad <laughs> this is sung yul's page he's my other bias he we well, yeah, is still under Willem entertainment but uh sung yul is not maybe when we gets out of the military in august that will change but as of right now he's still there so we have all of Sung Yul's cards, except I cannot find his 24 hours card to save my life, and I probably never will, honestly. And then this is a fifth gen in spirit card somebody gifted me. Then these are from Wuyan's solo and unit releases. So this one is from Two Heart, which is a unit he did with Key of Shiny. New K-pop fans probably don't know about Two Heart. Oh my god, go look up Two Heart. <laughs> go look up Two Heart. Their song is called Delicious and it's it's fun. It's a fun song. Then they have some more stuff from his most recent solo release. 
Um, I need to finish this before he comes back. I'm missing a lot and I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I did a bad job. He went to the military like two years ago and I was like, I'm going to finish this before he comes back. And I never did. And I, I'm sorry, man. Um, there's also three poster things. This is like a mini poster, um, that comes with this album. I won't be collecting those. And then this is from Samuel's unit, Infinite F. So these are the Korean ones and the Japanese card. And then these are Japanese random cards. Um, really happy that random postcards in Japanese albums are not a thing anymore because these were stressful to find. Um, I also have Hoyas because I used to pull Hoya all the time. These are other photo cards, one for each member from solo releases. This is Sung Jong's In Spirit card. This is Myung Su's um, Second Invasion card. Um, or season two card. What am I saying? Not second invasion. And then this is a page of Sung Yu cards <laughs> because he's released a lot of solo albums and stuff. Um, I don't have his most recent solo album and I want it so bad. I need to buy it. Um, and then here is more stuff from the other members. So solo albums. These are all album cards, but yes. And then Hoya's She's Back postcard. This is a I'm pretty sure this is unofficial, but it's cute, so I keep it. And then um, I have the new challenge postcards. These were the only random items in that album, so yeah. And then the Japanese version, I only have Sanyol's. Um, these were like, if you pre-ordered from a certain store, you got a certain member. So I only have Sanyol's in the groups. I've never seen Wuyen's. <laughs> and then um, we have... Destiny postcards, more larger items for solo releases. So Dongwoo solo album, and then Sungyu, one of his solo albums. She's back, random postcards, or not? She's back, be back. She's back, random postcard, and then these are a Polaroid set from a collab they did a long time ago. These are some group cards. And then here are my three tickets from the real date tickets from um, Reality. That is it for Infinite. For Lovelies, I have not touched this Lovelies collection in a while. So I'm going to kind of skim over it, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to do as far as my Lovelies collection. I don't know. They're a very difficult group to collect um, because there aren't a lot of people who collect them. And I collect two of the more popular members. So it's just... It's just difficult. Um, but yeah, so this is my Lovelies collection. It's all album stuff. I This is from Kay's solo album. Yes. Next we have Golden Child, who are also difficult to collect, but not nearly as difficult as they used to be. So these are from their first, um, first release. No, wait. You only got photo cards from their first release. So this is from Golcha. This is from their second release. I'm missing two Sungyun cards. But yes, I collect Sungyun and Jungjun. So these are all album cards. And then these are also album cards. <laughs> so many album cards. Weep. Pump it up. I just finished Pump it up recently. Um, There is a card that's like not... This is my music taste, I believe. This one is also my music taste. And then these are a bunch of, uh, oh no, this is from their most recent album, which is a pain. <laughs> it is a pain, but they also, this is a Make Star card. Um, and then the rest of these are album cards. And then this is maybe my music taste. Yes, for Jung Jun, it's even sadder. <laughs> this album is so hard to collect. It's like, there was a version that for a while you could only get in Korea that had photo cards and it's just one well, is just so dumb with photo cards um yes and then these are a bunch of other like cards that people have gifted me um other special cards so these are all make star cards from yes and then we have some take a leap make star and then I'm not sure where this one is from um but yes and then we have some larger items this is from the limited edition of, these are season's greetings items that are super cute. Somebody gifted me. This is from their without you repackage. 
We got some tickets from their second album. There's actually two like versions of this. There's a black one and a red one, but they're the same picture. And so therefore I don't care. <laughs> I don't care enough to get all of them. Um, and then yes, we have some tickets and then the little yes um, fabric pieces. Here's my very sad Rocket Punch collection. Um, not sure if I want to continue this either. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is my very sad Drippin' collection. <laughs> Drippin' have released like three albums and I just, I just don't know if I can. Willem's photo card situation annoys me recently and so I've been very unmotivated to collect their groups. Um, but yes, I also have Juno's um, stuff from X1 because I double biased him with Minnie, who's now in Gravity, um, when they were both in X1. So, and I also have his like little luggage tag from the first album, so I put that there. But yeah, that's my uh, very sad woolen binder. <laughs> Eventually, it's just gonna be Golden Child and Infinite. I feel like I just I don't know. But I mean, I was gonna say whenever. And B debuts, I might put her like her group stuff in here. Hopefully she debuts in a group. I really hope she doesn't debut as a solo artist. Willem doesn't have a good track record on promoting solo artists, so. Okay, so next we're gonna do what I call my first boy group binder. So this houses so many things. <laughs> so this probably is the binder that has the most groups in it besides my girl group binder. Um, so we start off with BTS. I do collect Jin of BTS. I have all of his album cards. This is the one exception to like the no Japanese cards rules. I thought for a minute when BTS first started releasing, Jap releasing Japanese stuff that I would collect Jin for Japanese stuff, but then they released like 10 things at the same time. I was like, no, we're just gonna do Korean album cards. Um, but I love my little Jin collection. I think it's so cute. Um, I know how people are always like, oh, you should try to get this and this. And I'm like, I'm happy with my little gin collection. I feel like I feel like I'm thriving with it. But yes, I collected OT7 for the Persona postcards. Um, and then these are from B, both versions of that. And then there's some random group cards I have in here. Some more random group cards from School Love Affair. Some larger gin items because for a while BTS only did large cards. Next we have my 17 collection. I collect S. Coops and he is one of my top male biases and so I collect him pretty thoroughly but these are all album cards. I finished his Korean album collection this year and it's been a great time. They just made a comeback recently. Did not pull any S. Coops in that album so we won't be adding to this collection today. It's fine though. <laughs> I pulled him in some of my photo books so you know it's okay but Oh, these are from, oh my gosh, I can't even remember what photo card set these are from, honestly. <laughs> they have so many. Like, even before they joined HYBE, they had so many. The Ideal Cut photo card set. These were gifted to me, so I just keep them as placeholders. But yes. 17 have always had a lot of things, but I do enjoy collecting them a lot. So I like my 17. These are from the Ode to You tour. Yes, this is from their most recent release, which was kind of sad collecting one member for it. I was tempted to collect three members, but it just didn't happen. And then this card is from, I can't remember which benefit that it is, but it's a store benefit. And then I have a couple of other store benefits for Hengare. This is my Japanese collection for scoops. It's kind of sad. I was pretty good about keeping up with it for a while, but I feel like Seventeen also just kept releasing Japanese things and I just got overwhelmed and so I just stopped. <laughs> These are the bookmarks from their first album. I collected my top six. Well, not really. These are both as scoops. <laughs> and then we have uh, Junghan, Joshua, Uji, and then Dino's here. And then these are the posters for an ode. And then here are some pre-order HMV little card things. We have the bookmarks from Hengare, some larger items for semicolon, some more. This is the Weavers pre-order and then 
semicolon, larger S coops items. Oh, album items though. I don't really collect too much outside of albums for him anymore. There's just really so many photo card sets and just, just too much. It's just too much. So every once in a while I end up with things, but for the most part I don't. And um, these are the postcards from their first album. And then his teenage theme. And then this is the entire set for Hengare, I believe. Yes, it's Hengare. This is the Keytown for You pre-order set. Next we have a tease, so I collect Hongjoon, and I only do Korean album cards for him every once in a while. Like for instance here, I did the Don't Look at You Know up there. <laughs> um, uh, every once in a while I do like pre-order cards for this album in particular. I did not really like the album photo card, so I have one album card and then the rest are store pre-order cards. I believe this is K10 for you. These are all um, my music taste. And then I can't remember where this one is from. Apple Music, maybe? It might be Apple Music. And then for their most recent album, I'm missing two cards still. So I need to get those. And then these are just some pre-order benefits. So that's K-Town for you. And then that is a My Music Taste card, I believe. Next we have Shiny. So I collect Minnow from Shiny. And I've been collecting him for... A long time. I used to collect this Japanese stuff as well, but um, kind of fell out of collecting Japanese stuff for Shiny. Um, I also, so yes, I have all the way through till here. I'm missing his Atlantis card still. And then these are all the solo album cards because I do buy Shiny solos. Um, and not as thoroughly as I used to, but I do try to um, support the members' solos when they have them. And then we have some postcards and some larger items. And then some group cards. And then we have my little and hyphen collection. So I collect Jake mostly, um, but I also collect Jay for this most recent album. So I do have a lot of cards to put away in here. So let's go ahead and separate them out. Put those away. Mm. So yes, I'm just missing two cards here. So close to finishing Jake. And then for Jay, I think I've double traded for a couple of cards, which is unfortunate, but I do still have four cards to put away here. This was kind of like a spur of the moment. I bought two sets of albums. And so I just decided to collect a second member. This is right, okay. It's been a minute <laughs> since this album came out. And so I'm like, what? Okay. match up with the card on the side. So I'm missing three cards for him, so pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna go back and get Jay's stuff. Um, when I first got into an hyphen, I was debating between Jay or Jake is my bias. Um, and this era, like I said, I ended up with two sets of cards to trade. Um, so I just ended up trading for Jay's stuff as well. Um, I don't know if I'll go back and collect like both of them fully moving forward though. It might just be Jake I keep doing that for, but I figured YOLO, right? <laughs> you know? So, yes, that is it for this binder. Next, we're going to start getting into my old groups. So, I know. I, but we're going to start with this binder. So, this is my Dongye binder. Um, he is my longest ultimate bias. So, <laughs> these are all album cards. All Korean album cards for both Suju, Suju, Super Junior M. Um, I also have... D and E in here, so it's kind of just a combo of everything. These are his Kino cards. These are his Kino cards for, um, these are all D and, D and E, D and E. The Kino cards from this album. These are the Lenticulars. I collected all four of them. Um, and then these are from the repackage. And then I do have a card to put away here. So I do have... <gasps> no! 
No, wait, is this really the same card? These cards are slightly different. No, I double traded for this card. That's really sad. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, never mind then. I guess I don't have anything to put away. Never mind. I did buy this card recently though, so that's coming. I still just need to find that one. Oh my gosh. And then these are all Japanese cards. So much Japanese stuff. The, I think SJ do have a new Japanese album. I just haven't like gone to get it. And then these are all the SM lenticular things they released with the standees. I did buy the most recent one. Um, it's at the Bayou Warehouse, I believe. And then these are all like special cards. So let me see if I can remember where all these things are from. This is from World Tour. This is his cookie jar card. This is a 12th year anniversary. I am um, Elf Japan official fan club. His Pantone card. And then these are from season greetings. Not that one. That one's from beyond the show. It's also from beyond the show. These are from the Elf fan kit. And then that one. Oh, that's Seasons Greetings. I think it's Aladdin, maybe? Then these are from Dongye's photo book. Larger Dongye things from albums. This is from Super Show 4. These are from like SM Easter release photo sets era every comeback for Super Junior. So, and there are other groups too. Um, so like, <laughs> these are photos that they released. Um, Japanese post postcard Super Show Four? Super Show 4. This is from his version of the Resonance album. Standees. These are the SM standees that go with the photo cards we saw earlier. His I Am postcard. His um, Super Junior in Paris photo book Polaroids. And then this is my like super junior section, um, which I have downsized recently, but I'm thinking about downsizing it even more. So I don't know if I will be completing the sets you see here, but I think that's the only one. So that one is play. This is replay, which I've finished. And then this is one more time, which I've finished. And then this is from time slip which i finished and then these are the other cards from the super junior um the elf fan kit and then these are from season's greetings these are also season's greetings cards um and then super show seven cards these are from sexy free and single the limited edition these are a photo card set released along with mamacita era and then these postcards are from play then these are from um, Pause, both Kiyan and Naroka are from Pause. And then I have one card for every member of Super Junior, so it goes through the entire group. And then these are just extra cards. Like I said, I probably will be downsizing this portion of the binder soon. I don't really buy anything that doesn't have Dongye in it anymore. Um, so I just have a lot of extra cards. Um, but I don't know. I have, a, I've had a lot of these cards for a long time, so I just feel like maybe I should keep them. <laughs> Some group cards, Dini postcard, um, other Japanese cards. Um, these are from Seasons Greetings from last year, the 2020 Seasons Greetings. And this is also the 2020 Seasons Greetings. So... Yes, that is it for this binder. Next, we're gonna do the binder that I think everyone is most interested in currently from my collection. So this binder houses three different groups, three different people. No, three different groups, I should say. It houses Eyes One, um, which I collect Binbi from Eyes One, though it does have some like full group stuff in there. And then it has Chan of Stray Kids, and it also has my treasure collection in here. So Unbi is my ultimate female bias. She just was taking up too much space in the woolen binder. So I decided to put her in her own binder. So these are all of her Eyes One album cards. Um, these two, or this one is a Kino card. But yes, I have a full set of album cards for her. 
I miss eyes one <laughs> like a lot. This is the pre-order cards from one reeler um, for the rest of the group or for the full group, right? Because NB's in here. Yeah. So for the full group, I kept the full group because they were cute. And this is like my NB special page. So these are from a photo card set. I believe there's more cards, but I don't own any more than these right now. Um, this is from a photo book or a magazine they released. This card is from Eyes on Me. This is um, a pre-order with drama card for Eyes One's um, most recent comeback. These are from um, their concert, their or One Eye Theater rather. And then I do have one more special card to put away for Unbe today. So this card is from a the Rewind Blossom um, like DVD set. I don't really know what it was. I know it was kind of hard to get a hold on, hold of if you weren't in Korea. I had a friend who did a group order um, because it had other groups in it as well. And so I claimed NB's card for that. And it's so cute. Look at her with her little sweater. I miss her. Will and do something with her, please? <laughs> um, and then these are Japanese cards from the Japanese singles they released. Um, these are from One Eric Theater as well. And then these are larger Korean album things. I do need one more of these for that album. It's the last NB item I need. Um, and then the Eyes on Me and One Eric Theater. And then this is from their Japanese single. Moving on to Treasure, they are my newest alt group. The groups that I consider alt groups currently are so yes, so A Pink currently. And then I also consider Infinite, um, Monster X, and Treasure male ultimate group. I don't consider Super Junior an alt group anymore just because I only buy stuff for Dongye now, though Dongye is still an alt bias. Um, but yeah, Treasure are my newest um, alt group, so I collect. I should do this better. I collect Jun Kyu, Ji Hoon, and Jung Woo for treasure, and I have other things I've collected. We'll go through it, but these are K10 for you cards for the first single album. And these are like the other K10 for you cards you got. So that was the first single. Second single, these are both K10 for you cards. I honestly love collecting three members though. Like it seems like a lot. Um, and then this is treasure effect. So these are all the selfie cards. Um, but I really, I love the way that it looks on a page and I don't find collecting treasure to be extremely difficult. Um, and then these are the concept cards. And then these are one of their K10 free cards, their um, baby photo, and then their first press cards. And then these are like the concept K-Town for you cards for the second, third, and treasure effect. And then for treasure effect, I also collected, um, because I bought six copies of treasure effect and there were only three versions or there were three versions. It was the first time they had three versions. I shouldn't say it like that, but, um, I decided to collect Mashiho, uh, Yedam, and Hyunsuk for the K10 for You cards, um, and then also for the first press cards just to fill out the page. So super cute. And then I collected all four Polaroid units. This is from um, Treasure Effect, the Japanese version. So from their first Japanese release, I have all three Junku cards. And then this is my like special Junku page. So this is from the Lumo shop, um, a pre-order benefit from Treasure Effect. And then this is a Cashby card. This is an HMB pre-order benefit. This is from their store collab. I didn't buy their second card from this, but I bought the third card for Junku, a random koala sticker. And then these are from their season's greetings, which was released in like March. So I didn't buy the full season's greetings. Um, and then I have postcards. So for postcards, I collect both of Jun Q's and then I collect one um, Jihoon and one Jungwoo card. So that's what I did for the first three singles, at least. For Treasure Effect, because each member only had one postcard, I decided to collect Yadam as well because he's part of my like second line of three biases. And then also I pulled him like three times. <laughs> so I kept one of them. Um, and then these are also from the season's greetings. 
I don't think I have anything to put away for treasure. I don't think I do. I haven't gotten their light stick yet, but hopefully I will soon. Next we have my Bang Chan collection, which everyone seems to be very excited about, including myself. Um, Chan is not an alt, <laughs> but I did put him in this binder because I just felt like he belonged here. So, so the first thing I have is the I Am Who yellow border. Oh, I also have one other card. I also have the I Am Who black border card. So yes, I do have this entire collection complete. I don't own all the cards, or I don't have all the cards in my possession yet, but I'm so close, so. <laughs> yes, and then the I Am You white background card is coming for Yellowwood. I have the last couple of cards coming. And then for Levanter, I did get the limited edition card. I'm so excited to have this. Oh my gosh, somebody literally gifted it to me and I could cry. I could cry. Oh my gosh. So, Levanter is done. Um, go live, I have the last couple of cards coming. A lot of these cards are at Bayi, so they'll, they'll be coming soon. And then, um, I don't have the In Life Sub K fan sign card, but I honestly think I'm just gonna like move forward, um, collect moving forward collect a lot of his pre-order and like fan sign cards but i don't think i'm gonna worry about previous eras um i've gotten all of the cards that are like pre-order or limited edition that i've like really wanted so yes i have a couple of jisung cards here this is from the in life um sub k fan sign and then this is his levanter um lenticular i used to collect jisung and now i collect chen instead which is nothing against jisung which is why i still have a couple cards <laughs> um but yes so, I just need the... I do still... Actually, I do still need the Yellowwood pre-order. So, I guess I'm not, like, done done. I'm done with the small cards, but I do still need that. So, I will have to get that eventually. And then I have both Polaroids. I kept Jisung's as well. This is a fan-made set of cards that someone sent me. And then... These are from the In Life album. And then I also have, um... Jisung for that. So, yes, working on the Chan collection. It'll probably be finished the next time I do one of these videos. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. Definitely make sure you're uh, you're checking out for that new Update My Binder With Me video because I feel like the next time I have enough cards, it's gonna be for Chan, so yes. So I have three binders for Monstax. They're kind of insane, kind of crazy. Um, did I show you this already? <laughs> we i have like one thing to put away um for them yes so for monstex this binder um is for my everything up until follow i also keep tutok gom in here and like japanese cards and other random cards like that so this is from when i saw them at the staples center um this is my ticket for the upcoming 2022 concert and i'm just trying not to lose it because they sent it to me like like eight months early so <laughs> yes so i originally collected wano and then um after follow era i decided to also collect kihyun it started as me collecting kihyun for follow and turned it into me collecting kihyun moving forward so so i have trespass and rush for both wano and kihyun then I have the clan part one and the clan part two. I have decided, I do collect a couple of OT7 sets. So I have decided to collect beautiful as one of those OT7 sets. So this is the beautiful version, the brilliant version, and the beside version. This is the slow going collection currently on pause because of the current comeback. Um, but I'll work on it in between Monstex's comeback and Wano's comeback the three days that they'll give us for that. Um, and then this is from Beautiful. I also collected OT7 um, message cards from Beautiful. This was something I did like a long time ago before everything. Um, and then I have OT7 for Shine Forever. It's my favorite era, so I did decide to collect it. So that's the Shine Forever version. And this is the Complete X Clan version. These are also from Shine Forever. Supposedly, if you buy Shine Forever these days, it doesn't come with Wano's sticker, which is very upsetting to me, but it still comes with Wano's photo cards. So I don't know. 
Um, and this is Wano's poster and Kian's poster. And then um, the code, <laughs> unit cards for the code. Um, I collected both Wano and Kian's units. And then these are still the code. And then Wano's Polaroids for the code. And then Kian has five, but I only have three of them. I do only plan on getting four of them. So yes, this is from um, the Connect for the four versions of the album. And then the unit cards. Um, and then their first press cards. You can pop these out and they'll be like nine pocket sized, but I like to keep the full, full thing. Um, and then this is from are you there? I don't know why I just blanked. Are you there? Um, it, am I here? I'm not sure. That was all Wano's cards and these are Kihyun's. Um, and then the unit cards, they weren't in the same unit. So this is Wano's unit with Juhan and Shonu. And then Kihyun's unit was with Minhyuk. And then I collected OT7 for the Polaroids. This was something I did like way before everything. I would just randomly like collect OT7 things. Um, it was like I, it was like I knew that someday I would also, I would collect OT7. Um, and then this is from, oh my gosh, what is this from? I think it's from Kihyun's, um, like photo album. It is. Yeah. There was a Polaroid set released with, um, Kihyun's photography book. Um, but I just have one of those. And then this is for We Are Here. Um, and this has the American card in the middle. I miss them doing American photo cards. What's stopping them from doing American photo cards? That's all Keegan's cards. And then these are Wano's units. I don't know. I just, these are all the units for Wano and Keegan. Um, and then these are Polaroids that you would get in the We Are Here album. And then this was a Follow Starship Square benefit. And then here we have Follow. I do plan on collecting OT7 for Follow eventually. So that's why Minyuk is also here. Um, that's one of those cards and these are Kihyun's cards. I don't know if I'll do OG7 for these. Um, I'll probably just keep Wano and Ki for that, but this is the G Market pre-order, um, set. Their Kino photo card set, back when you got a full set of Kino cards. Missed those days. Um, and then these are the, I don't know, whatever Starship made me buy. <laughs> um, I clicked OG7 for that and then OT7. For the standees as well i collected more ot7 than normal for this era because one i bought more albums than i normally would have to get pre-order benefits it was the first time i really like felt like i wanted to participate in pre-order benefits um and also because of everything that happened so yes then this is for all about love this is a fan-made card but it's from the all about love concept and so i just feel like it fits well here and then these are Japanese cards for Wano and Kihyun. And then obviously after a certain point, it's just Kihyun. So I have them up through Love Killa. I joined a group order for Wanted and I'm kind of annoyed that it's not here yet. I do have the Flavors of Love stuff for Kihyun. I bought both his photo card and his unit card with Shonu. Is he with Shonu? I think he's with Shonu. Um, so I will be adding those um, in my new buy haul. And then this is a promotional poster for Wano for Beautiful. Shootout, for Shootout. These are Kian's 2.com cards. I don't think this has changed that much since the last time you saw it. 2.com is actually very difficult um, for me to collect. I don't know why I struggle with it so much, but finding Kian's cards can be kind of difficult. So, is all that I have here. At least they're like, I think they're done with Tutokom, so at least that won't be a thing anymore. <laughs> I won't have to worry about it. And then these are 10 concert cards. Yes, and then this is all from We Are Here era. These are his two concert cards, and then that's his photo book card. This is for the Connect World Tour. These are two of his broadcast cards. This is from Picnic, and then this is a fan-made card of him and Juhan, and then this is from the fourth Mon Bebe kit. This is actually where we have things to add. I have one card. I have another special card. So it is from the 2018 World Tour Connect in Seoul, and this is the Tower Records card. So I do think I want to 
Someday I'll put these in chronological order, but for right now, this collection doesn't grow super quickly. Um, I'm gonna put this like back here for right now, I think. The, a lot of these are fan-made, but this is official. This is Tony Mole. This is also Tony Mole. Um, Lenstown, this is fan-made, but it's supposed to mimic the other Polaroids from the keyring. I'll show you when we show when I show key ends. This is from the Connect, I believe. I don't know why these are still green sleeved, honestly. Yeah. So this was the card that actually came with the DVD. More Lens Town. This is from the second Lens Town. This is a Seasons Greetings card from the 20. I think it's 2018 Seasons Greetings. And then these are both fan made things. And then I have one of those Tutacom cards as well. And then these are some of his broadcast stickers. And then this is a fan made card. For Kihyun, I have his The Connect World Tour. And then I have his We Are Here World Tour. And then I also have his Picnic, his 4th Gen, and then his 2020 Seasons Greetings, the um, normal card. Or no, that's the, this is the G Market pre-order card. And then this is the card that came in the album. And then this is his pre-order unit with Juhan um, from, no, this is from the photo book, but I think that's from K-Town for you. I think it's a K-Town for you pre-order benefit, but it's from their 2021 Seasons Greetings. Um, and then here, this is the, this is the Polaroid I was talking about. It came with a key ring. Um, so this is Ki Hyun's like official one. And then one of is a fan made one. This is also fan made. This is from the Connect 2018 DVD. This is the Fantasia pre-order benefit, um, from Starship Square. And then I also have Chung Yoon. Somebody gifted it to me. And then this is from Lenstown. The, this is the new release of Lenstown. And then I also have his first Beauty Plus. And then his second Beauty Plus is coming in the mail. I'm so excited about it. This is a US um, postcard that came with, are you here? This came with, are you there? Um, and then I have a complete 1-0 Tower Records collection. So these are all of his Tower Records postcard and his follow American postcard. And then I have Kihen's um, Japanese Tower Records and his American Follow postcard as well. These are a bunch of group cards I own just from collecting Monster X, really. Um, this is from Tony Mole. I don't have Kihen's signature one, but it's not a super high priority. And then that is from Peace. So that is the first Monster X Minder. My second Monstax Minder focuses on everything that happened after Follow. Um, obviously, there's still Japanese releases. There were still two Dokkan releases after Wano's departure, but this is what I call my OT7 binder because it does have full completed sets for both Wano and MX6. This starts with Wano's Love Synonym 1. So these are all album cards. This is from version 1, version 2, and version 3. He makes small cards and it like weirds me out because I'm so used to large cards with Monstax, but it's okay. And then these are pre-order cards. So these are Key Town for You. These are my music taste um, fan sign cards. And then these are a second set of my music taste, All right? Yeah, because they have the same backs. Um, and then these are from With Fans. Um, and then these are his Tower Records cards, which took me so long to get my hands on, but I'm so happy to have them. Oh my God. And then these are his pre-order tickets from Highline Store, G Market. Um, and then the frame cards. And this is a G Market pre-order as well. And then we have his postcards and his Tower Records postcards. Oh, but this is for, yes, this is for his first mini. Um, and then for his second mini, I have version one, version two, and then version three. These are all nine of the message cards that you could get. And then these are some of his pre-order cards. So I have Keaton for you. And then I have um, my music taste. Um, and then he also had, no, I think that's all on the next page. He had two sets of with fans cards. I don't know. Nobody has received their cards from with fans. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then I have all six bookmarks, all six of the pre-order um, 
tickets and then all four of the pre-order postcards from G Market. And then these are the Tower Records postcards. And there is a poster that comes with it. Um, I believe someone is, I'm getting it in the mail soon. So that's exciting. Um, so that's that. Next we move on to Monster X, so we have Fantasia, so I collected MX6 for the first time. I decided this once I got the American copies in the mail, so I did it kind of late, but it's fine. So I have Shonu and Hyungwon with their unit card in the middle, and then Kihyun and Minhyuk with their unit card in the middle, Juhan and Changyun with their unit card in the middle, and then these are the other unit cards. And then this is the Kino set um, for Fantasia. So it was a full set still. And then here are the Polaroids and the Triangle cards and the American postcards. I miss them doing photo cards, please. <laughs> um, and then this is Kihyun's Tower Records for Fantasia and also Fatal Love and then his pre-order postcard for Fantasia from G Market, which is with Minhyuk. So, yes. This is the start of my Fatal Love collection, so I have all three of Kihyun's broadcast cards and two of his broadcast stickers. Um, there's only one broadcast sticker, I just own two. And I have version one, version two, version three, version four, and then all six Kino cards. If you don't know, the Kinos were random this time, so this is a lot more impressive than my previous Kino sets. <laughs> I just want it to be known. Um, I have the lenticular cards, the message cards. Um, these are G Market Starship Square pre-orders. These are with drama. No, they're not. These are K-Town for you. These are my music taste. These are the second set of my music taste. And then these are the index cards. And then these are, I only have four of the six still, probably never going to finish this collection if we're being honest, but I do have, um, these are also Starship Square benefits. So I have Changi, I have Shonu and Juhan, and then I have the Minhyuk, Shonu and Juhan unit, and then I also have the Kihyun, Hyungwon, and Changyun unit. So I'm missing the OT6 unit, and then I'm also missing um, Minhyuk and Hyungwon. And then these are the American postcards. And that is it for this binder because I have not put away everything yet, but I even need to add more pages to this. This is going to be, look forward to that video, <laughs> hopefully coming soon. I, I collected too much for this era, so this binder is going to get real thick, but yes. So this is my last Monstex binder. This has a lot of just the most random things because I just don't know what to do with all the stuff Starship gives us. So this is a Chutokom standee from the first round of Chutokom. These are from their 2020 FanCon. These are from their 5th gen Monbebe kit. This is also 5th gen Monbebe. Wow. The card looks a lot different this time. Um, these are Starship Square benefits for the photo book they released last year. The actual photo book. These are from their 2021 Seasons Greetings. Ditto. 2021 Seasons Greetings. Um, I need to consolidate this better so that I don't have three pages of... Yes. This is from the Connect World Tour. It's from um, We Are Here World Tour. This is from FanCon this year. I have everything except for Kihyun's version of the photo book card, which is this one. So I do need to get that still. And then I have all the other members, um, ID cards and version A and version B photo card sets. And then these are fan made. These are my uh, G Market pre-order benefits for Wano Seasons Greetings. These are from Wano's first gen weenie fan kit. This is from his season's greetings for this year. These are fan made. And then these are Kino cards, which I do want to take out of here, but we'll flip through them super fast. So these are from 
um, follow, and then Fantasia. Fantasia X. I always just call it Fantasia, but it's actually called Fantasia X. And follow is actually called follow find you, but whatever. Um, and then these are Polaroids from the 2019 season's greetings. And these are from the We're Here DVD, the comma photo book. This is from Beautiful Days. No, this is Beautiful Days. This is from 2018 season's greetings. And then these are from a Japanese event. These are from the photo books for Monst X. These are just fan made. Um, these are one of those Tony Mole cards. And then um, these are fourth gen Mon Bebe. And then these are from Season's Greetings again, I think. I get the Season's Greetings. The Season's Greetings stuff just like blends together in my brain. Um, and this is from 2020 Season's Greetings. I didn't buy the full Season's Greetings kit, so I just bought Kihan stuff. Um, and this is Kihan's uh, broadcast postcard from Jealousy Era, the Connect Era. And then comma postcards. These are more fan-made postcards for Wano. Um, and then these are like signature cards from a Japanese Christmas event. Um, and then I have the comma stickers. These are Japanese pre-order stickers. Um, that is a G Market benefit, I think. These are postcards from We Are Here. This is fan made. Um, and this is the official postcard set from All About Love from the pop up shop. Though I think they sold them elsewhere afterwards too, so it's fine. Um, I didn't overpay for them. I had a friend who went to the pop up event and I paid her back for buying them for me. Um, and then these are from the fan con from last year so cute this is from the puzzle puzzle yes um and then this is from we're here world tour and then i have jap i have um infinite in here too so this is from their photo card set they released a long time ago but it just doesn't make sense to be in my woolen binder so it's here and then their season's greeting stuff Back when they had nine cards per member. Like, what? I will him. <laughs> what? And this is from the 2019 season. So that must be 2018. This is 2019. Do you do you see what happened? Um, and then I have some twice pre-order cards in here too. This is just kind of like a dump binder, honestly, um, for anything I like want to keep. This whole section is the disaster, and I need to go through it someday. But yeah, that is it for my updated photo card collection video i feel like this is probably two hours long and i'm so sorry but if you sat through it you're a real one um thank you so much for watching this video i do hope you enjoyed if you have questions about anything i talked about just give me a timestamp and let me know which card it is down in the comment section down below and i'd be happy to answer any questions i tried to explain where everything is from but if i miss something just let me know i'll help you out but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will do another one of these in December or in January of next year. So yes, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.